Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, AG here. I'm doing this week um, another book review. So I will be talking about Falada, which is a lovely novella by Angela D. Mitchell. So this is a uh, retelling of the story Goose Girl. And okay, before reading this book, I don't think I'd ever actually heard of Goose Girl. I mean, like I'd heard of it, but I'd never read through it. So I, I had no idea it was going to go on. And I read the story. Um, it's, it was a fairly um, a short, sh it was a shorter story. It was fairly quick for me to get through. So that was, that was nice. Um, but oh my goodness, did it draw me through. Yeah. So it's, um, it's a story about two girls who are, um, I'm just trying to figure out, let's see here. Two girls who are living under the um, horrible power of a witch. One of the girls is named Gianna and she is the daughter of this witch. And the other is Mara, who is sort of a serving girl. And these two um, have to go and travel to a new land in order for Gianna to go get married. And so what they do is they take Falada. This is a talking horse who um, is meant to be very wise and very helpful and magical and helping them out on this journey. So uh, I really liked the beginning. It kind of drew you into this story. It's um, Gianna is kind of, she just, you know, oh, she's the daughter of this witch queen. She's a princess. Oh, yeah. But I mean, it's more than that. This is just kind of like, um, she, she's just a normal girl whose mother happens to be a witch and things are kind of awful for her, but she is, you know, trying to make the best of things anyways. And it's, it's, um, you know, it's about living with the fear, but also knowing that, you know, her, her mother loves her in her own weird, um, slightly twisted way. But it's, uh, I think it's a very good telling of how, of how um, kind of this difficult relationship is actually, you know, um, a shaping point for Gianna, but she's also so just like a normal girl. I really liked that. Um, and then the fal Falada, the horse, oh my gosh, she's super mysterious. I literally had no idea what was going on with this talking horse throughout the entire story, which was really dramatic at certain points, because I don't know if you know the story of Goose Girl like I didn't, um, but things get dramatic really fast. And so with Falada, it was very, a bit dark, but it was really fascinating to see this horse's character all the way through the novel, um, the novella, I guess it's a novella. So it's sort of around the middle when um, Gianna switches places with Mara, that's kind of an essential point, but she switches places with Mara. And after that, like things escalated very quickly. It got very, I don't wanna go with dark because it doesn't, it's not dark in terms of psychological, um, nature or, I mean, it does talk about dark aspects of society and, um, relations between people, but it's, it's, it still maintains that lightheartedness, but it does escalate very quickly. And I was not expecting it at all. So well done, um, author. That was, that was very stunning. My favorite part of the story is probably the ending where, um, things, you know, even despite this darkness, Gianna manages to always be really, you know, she's she's kind of always really kind. She always thinks about other people throughout, even though she could have easily done things that would make her own life better, but she didn't. Um, and I think that's kind of really, really important theme and really important story to be told. Um, it's about kind of finding happiness within yourself and being able to accept yourself for who you are, even though other people may want you to do certain things or may demand things of you. If you're okay with yourself, then you can stand up to them and say no and say, you know what? I'm gonna do this. This is good for everybody. I'm trying to be a good person. I'm trying to be good for myself and I can be happy that way. It's about, you know, strength and kindness, about doing things for other people, even though even though your own life is really tough and people are making horrible, horrible um, demands on you, I think that's really important is like being kind to other people. And also there is strength in silence when you're trying to do things for other people and it's okay. Uh, it's awful, it sucks, but I think it's really important. I really, I really enjoyed this story. Um, 
It was very quick to read through and I almost wish it was a full-length novel because there's a lot there that could be unpacked. That was probably my main critique is that I think it was just there were some parts that were glossed over very quickly probably because they were the darker elements but I felt like they could have been explored more or discussed more and like what the effects were on Gianna and how that really um, like drove her and why she was doing things but on the whole I think it was a very well written story and I really did enjoy it um, again it escalated very quickly and that was I think part of the problem was that the beginning was a bit like almost too light-hearted and I was uh, you know I, I had heard that this was a retelling of Goose Girl and I was okay so fairy tales yes they're usually pretty dark but they tend to be the retellings tend to be a bit lighter a bit more light-hearted and this was not that I mean the beginning sort of kind of gave that impression like oh things are gonna be good things are gonna be grand and um, it didn't turn out the way I expected so I applaud Angela Mitchell for being able to pull the wool over my eyes that doesn't normally happen I, I'm usually pretty good at predicting things when they're gonna go south and I didn't at all and so I was really fascinated oh, I really loved the characters I, I loved how they developed over the str over the length of the story even though it was a very short story and I would have loved to have seen some of the more nuanced aspects of the characters I think they were really well written and very well rounded honestly their interactions were a bit fantastical but in a way that was realistic like if I were in this situation and I had these attributes I probably would have done something similar Except for Falada. Okay, Falada was just mysterious all the way throughout, and I literally had no idea what was going on with this magical talking horse until the very end, which was cool and fascinating, but also a little bit not helpful because he plays such a large role in the story that I think he needed a bit more... Um, expansion and a bit more well-roundedness instead of just having this one aspect of being good and wise and kind. Um, I think that was perhaps not... It, it was perhaps... The, he was perhaps the only one where I was a little bit like, mm, you don't quite have the same features as the other characters, even though I, I, I um, really liked him. I didn't like him for that reason. So on the whole, I really enjoyed this this uh, novella and I'm curious to see what other books are out there. This book is currently available on Amazon and you can find all of Angela's social media links in the description. Uh, so I really hope you guys will give this a read. I got this through Kindle Unlimited. So if you've got a subscription to that, it should be, you know, free. I mean, you pay the subscription, but still. Um, otherwise, uh, I will see you guys next time. I really hope you enjoy. Bye.